This is Coffee Break with Ninita, a daily guide of coping skills that gets us through by making us strong. It comes a point where a strange feeling comes on us and that feeling is losing ourself and it started predominantly more intense after COVID-19 came to our lives it has gradually progressed in other aspects of life not only the physical but the mental emotional and social anything that creates fears violates the self uh, that is understood and this is why we develop behaviors with intentions to get rid of that fear or to diminish that fear to to conquer that fear usually Before we start fighting the fear, the first and foremost goal we have is to build walls and to keep ourselves on the one side of the wall and the threat, whatever it is, outside that wall. There is a lot of half emotions present in situations like that. In the beginning, like we said, we built that wall to protect our family against the outside danger that threatens our security. As time goes on, things change. And that wall originally protecting the family from the outside danger starts coming inside the family and eventually people, members of the same family isolate from each other and surround themselves with part of that wall. They start fighting arguing, clearly indicating that they do not trust each other. They, through that state of mind, try to deal with the same issues that they were dealing before the presence of that sudden crisis. But now, the issues become more of a part of the wall. And instead of together fighting them, using the issues to fight each other. You heard me correctly. Instead of fighting the issues, we start using the issues to fight each other. That's what happens when we build the wall. First and foremost, we need to bring those walls down. We tend to believe that when the issues go away, the walls will go away too. No. The issues are magnified from the presence of that fear, of fears, but especially one fear or losing yourself or losing myself. So the most important part is to let that, to do something rather, about that fear 
to stop it from growing bigger and suffocating the family. These are the steps I'm going to bring up. Most of the times, there is one family member that decides enough is enough, letting those issues choking and trying to do something different. We're going to talk about that something different today. And that's why I mentioned the steps. Step one, find someone outside your family that you trust, that believes in the family, that comes from a peaceful, loving place, that also agrees that it is not the issues that choke the family, but it is the fear of losing themselves that use the issues as a way of keeping each other apart. Talk, take an inventory, sit down and try and find out if there are any patterns. By that I mean different issues follow the same dramatic, tense way, approach. Arguing about anything that comes our way. If that is what is happening, the first thing you want to do is and identify and itemize all the issues, any issues that you can possibly think that are present in the family. Write them down. See how you are approaching these issues and how the other person is approaching the same issues. Talk to that person. It can be a spiritual father, it can be a clinician, professional, it can be a good friend. Talk. And the goal of your talking is to separate the emotions that surround the issues, actually the emotions you have towards the other family members and the emotions that other family members have towards you from the issues. When you do that, then you take action. And by action, I mean slowly, gradually, take a different route to the, into the dynamics of the family. Don't have your walls up. Look at the loved ones not as people belittling you, attacking you, questioning you, threatening your self-worth and your self-esteem, but look at them as people of the same family that you're part of, feeling scared, being nervous feeling anxious. Can you stop that feeling? Absolutely not. You can only identify it to yourself, not to them. And when you see that, put what they say about the issues into perspective. Don't take it in. We thank you for listening to Coffee Break with Nanita. Our goal is to help our stay whole community work through their challenges. Please join this cause by supporting us on Patreon. You can do that for the price of just one cup of coffee per month. Just click on the Patreon link in the podcast description below or simply visit us at www.patreon.com forward slash stay whole. 
We appreciate you and hope we can help you stay whole.